Hello everybody, I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Well, I got something cool here. Will you check this out? Kapow! Kevin Humphreys. This is some New Zealand love. I gotta tell you about this. When I was in New Zealand last year, um, there was a uh, hot sauce competition for non-professionals, hobbyists. Very, very proud to say that Kevin won. I was one of the judges, which was really kind of exciting. And he's now a pro. Now, the new one has the label with all the ingredients. This is the one I got from him personally when I was in, uh, in New Zealand. Um, what I'm going to do is, gonna, now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm very proud to say that it's now a legit. See, the, I got pictures of the label and everything, but I want to show you this. Got him to sign it too, which is kind of cool. So let me read this too. This is Kapow Hot, so uh, hot Chili Sauce. Home, uh, homemade grown chilies from home, uh, homemade grown chili sauce from home, homemade grown chilies. Uh, let me read. Now, this is what the label says. If you buy this now, this is what the label says. Our, um, hang on one minute. All right. Our sauces are a unique collection of small batch handmade sauces using the best total, uh, locally sourced ingredients available. <clears throat> Uh, our plum, our spicy plum sauce is a throwback uh, to an old-fashioned style plum sauce that your Nana may have made, um, but has been ramped up with some additional uh, addition of some hot and fruity habanero chilies. This sauce will go great with just about anything, but will be outstanding with things like pulled pork, steak, dumplings, and ribs. Um, here are the ingredients, people. Um, ingredients are plums, vinegar, brown sugar, chilies, garlic, black pepper, cloves, ginger, cayenne pepper, salt, xanthan gum. Pretty cool. Kind of excited to be, to be reviewing this. Now, sort of an interesting thing. <clears throat> we were on stage. I was with Neil and um, Vern and Clint, and we were rating these sauces. And... The people that were watching, they were all in the audience watching, and they could see the sauce. And some of the sauces, this one, so I tell you right now, I like this. Some of the sauces, I'm just trying to be really honest, they need some work. So we would taste them, and they would watch the look on our face and see if we, they, we liked it. And so a couple times we would turn our back to taste it because some of them, this, like I said, this was a winner. Some of them, not so much. But all right, we're going to give this a shot. Now, in the contest, we rated on five things, the aroma, the flavor, the consistency, the heat, and overall, I can't remember the exact rating. This just had such a great, getting the garlic and the savory aroma, you get the plum, a little bit of the heat, a little bit of the beginner, but really, really has a great aroma. And it was funny because some of the sauces that we reviewed, we'd smell them and be like, some of them were, uh, this is one of those aromas. We were excited too because some of you saw me like, oh gosh, you didn't like, some of them, this one I smell, I couldn't wait to review it, to taste it. So here we go from Kevin Humphreys, Kapow. So a little bit of New Zealand love. We're very excited to be back there in March, or excuse me, May 30th. We'll be there with Junior, so it's going to be a good thing. All right. It's a little bit more lively on the spoon. My mouth is watering. Um, all right, so from Kevin Humphreys, Kapow Chili Sauce from New Zealand. I am Johnny Scoville, and this is JC. It's interesting when we taste it, we all of us were just like, this is a great one. The right balance of sweet, the plum is great, the garlic is great. There, it's not vinegar forward at all. The heat is mild. For me, it would be medium for it would be it would be pretty warm for some if you've never eaten anything hot and you ate this. Um, you would probably say it's somewhere in the neighborhood of a... You might think it was a 7. It's probably like a 6 or a 7. If you're somebody who's eating hot stuff, you'd be a 5. Um, it moves my needle, but the flavor is absolutely fantastic. I liked it just as much when I was there. Um, it's no joke. This is a really good sauce. 
You can get the cloves. I think there's cloves. Isn't there cloves in this? Mm hmm. A little bit of the ginger. It's just really a fantastic sauce. It would be good on wings, it would be good on a sandwich. This is really just very, very tasty. Um, there's no seeds in it. It's kind of a pureed sauce, which I don't mind. I prefer seeds in it, but this, the, we, we tasted this in New Zealand. It was like, we got a winner here. So this is tasty now. You can't see the, the full label. Like I said, this is what it looks like on the front, but on the back, it's got all the other stuff that makes you legit. Congratulations, Kevin. This was a winner. Um, if you haven't tried it, I know you haven't tried it because he just became, uh, he just now launched. Go to the comments or the description box, you'll see a link for him. Get some. It's great stuff. If you're in New Zealand, a lot of people have tried it. Uh, if you're in New Zealand, show some New Zealand love. Let's get some of this from Kevin. It's great stuff. Really, really tasty. I like this a lot. There's no doubt it was the winner. Um, real quick, look at this. Bad boy, tick boy. Little Justin Yanko. One of my favorite Filipino sauce makers, I'm coming today, 8.20. Here's the deal, yesterday, most of the day, I thought I was leaving on Thursday, I don't know why. Sort of saved by Desiree Dawn, and then the Max, she kind of reminded me. She sent me a text message, I mentioned this yesterday, but she sent me a text message. She said, excited about tomorrow? I said, I am, but it's Thursday. She said, no, it's tomorrow. Man, if, I had, if she hadn't texted me, it'd be scramble time today. As it was, there was a little bit of scrambling because I lost today, but I will be ready and I will be there leaving at 8.20, going from here to Seattle. Got to lay over there. Got to do a little massage because my shoulder's hurting. Woke up feeling a little better than I did when I went to bed. Still pretty sore, though. Uh, then I'm flying to Hong Kong, which will be neat. It's been an exciting place. You've been paying attention to the news. Um, got a small lay over there that I'm flying from there to Manila. So it's going to be a great trip. I can't wait. I'm going to see Pancha Unreal, wonderful man who's invited me over. I'm in love with the Philippines, so I can't wait to be there. Um, can't think of anything else I was going to tell you. Um, oh, yeah, I have a couple different T-shirts. The Capsation, from now on, the Capsation shirt will always be available. So it'll always be in the description box. If you ever want one, go click it there. Every two weeks, the sale will end and a new one will start, and the, the stuff from that sale will be mailed. At the end of the conclusion of the sales, when all the shirts are mailed. So every two weeks, it'll always be available. Working the final, again, the last, uh, I promise you, I'll get, today, I will get the uh, link in the description box at some point for the uh, World Tour short, which is really, really cool. Um, that's about it, I think. Really excited for this trip. It's a long flight, 22 hours and 15 minutes of flight time. It's a long time to be on a plane. But I'm really excited about doing this. So I'll see you guys in the Philippines really soon. Kevin Humphreys from New Zealand, thank you for the sauce. It's wonderful. Um, great work. I love watching a hobbyist get their wings and just take off and become legit. Really proud of you. This is a sauce that needed to be sold. Um, right here is our pepper. Click that pepper. Become part of our family. And if you don't want to miss a video, you don't have to miss a video. Click the bell for notification and we will notify you. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat.